Straddled on the border of two expansive countries, Lake Ontario is a region of magnificent biodiversity. Home to millions of people, it contains a wide range of ecosystems and flows into the St. Lawrence, one of the longest rivers in the world. For over 50 years, the International Joint Commission has managed the levels and flows of these beautiful water systems by using the Moses Saunders Hydroelectric Power Dam. But why does the flow of water need to be regulated? The effects of naturally fluctuating water levels can be ongoing like erosion. They can also be sudden and devastating, leading to flooding due to storms or rapid spring runoffs. The management of Lake Ontario outflows cannot prevent these effects entirely, but over time it has reduced extreme water levels, which has led to many benefits. Stable water levels and flows help shippers manage their loads and safely ply the river. Avoiding low water extremes helps recreational boating, but also ensures that municipalities can still draw water from their intakes. And avoiding high water extremes protects properties along the shoreline from flooding. The IJC's existing management plan was developed over half a century ago. Since then, substantial improvements in science and technology have made us aware of ecological concerns, and a new plan is long overdue. Restricting the fluctuation of naturally occurring water levels inadvertently avoids the conditions that wetlands thrive in. Emergent plants, such as cattails, flourish at the expense of other flora and fauna. There are fewer opportunities to replenish wetlands and support a healthy diversity of plants, fish and animals. But this can change. Through more than 14 years of consulting with experts, governments, stakeholders and the public, the IJC has arrived at Plan 2014, offering a balanced solution for both economic and ecological interests. The plan continues to moderate extreme low and high water levels on the upper river and lake, and there is almost no difference downstream. Occasionally, lake levels may be several inches higher or lower than they would be using current management practices. Boaters would have longer seasons, but may also experience summers with lower levels. Properties along the St. Lawrence River would enjoy the same amount of relief from coastal damages, but properties on Lake Ontario may need to invest more in shore protections. Navigation and municipal water intakes would continue to receive essentially the same level of benefits, and there would be a small increase in hydropower production, all while improving the diversity and health of the region's ecosystems. Balance is an ever-shifting phenomenon. Plan 2014 is the best solution to meet the needs of the basin both for today and for generations to come.